He is a Medford man with a bionic eye, and after 20 years of darkness, there is now light. It seems like science fiction, but this implant is bringing a kind of sight to the blind. It's not what you and I see, but for a small number of people, it is transforming their lives. Put that in your it's not actual vision, it's uh, what they call artificial vision. Every day, Anthony Andriatola puts on his gear, leaves his Medford home, and oh, rides the tea to there. his job in downtown Crossing. Anthony has retinitis pigmentosa. He began to lose his vision in his team. Once everything is black, uh, you know, for many, many years, that, that, that was it. For 20 years, he lived in darkness until he became one of the first to receive a bionic eye. This animation from the developer shows how it works. A tiny camera in the glasses sends images to a wearable computer. The images are processed and sent wirelessly to an implant on the eye. I don't see things the way other people do. I see everything in, uh, in different uh, flashes, lights, shapes. It's more of a cloudy black and white vision. I can tell the difference between a car or a bus or a truck. I can't tell you what make the car is. That helps him navigate life more safely. Well, I'm going by Rhodes Brothers and I can see that they have some tables set up. And this is really a difficult place to navigate because there's always a lot of people and things change all the time. And here we are at St. Anthony's. And after his journey, he arrives at his job as a substance abuse counselor at St. Anthony's Shrine. I have my hope back. Once I lost my sight, I, I was resigned to be blind for the rest of my life. I'm, I'm not resigned to that anymore. You know, I, I believe if I can, if I can live long enough, uh, I'll, uh, I'll be able, I'll be able to see, you know, uh, you know, a lot of beautiful things. Just incredible. And yeah. the developer of the Bionic Eye is Second Sight. They're already working on the next generation that'll have faster processing and sharper images. And Anthony had to go to Johns Hopkins in Baltimore for his surgery, but at least one Boston hospital is going to wow. have this available soon. And you can see how it's changing his oh. life. And you mentioned next generation. That's the thing, is that every five years, the technology gets even better. So we'll be doing another sure. story 10 years from now where we'll be seeing much better. And for him to say, I know I'll see more. Yeah, incredible. Very neat.